So yeah, the back end completely just fell apart. So the frame ends about here somewhere, and it should end about, well, here. So this is all just zip tied on as a bodge job for now. But yeah, that was very, very annoying. The thing collapsed off the back, rubbing against the rear wheel. Uh, this is actually quite solid now. It's actually uh, held that on quite tight. It's actually quite tight and solid. Had to take the top box off, of course. I was zip tied. The indicators to the bracket. I didn't even have time to uh, cut them yet today, though. Just cut the ends off. It was a very, very quick fix. Very good bodge job, though. Considering the frame's rotten. Yeah, there's my top box. Not sure what to do with that. Definitely keep it. I'd like to put it back on the bike. But the frame needs to be... Well, I think the frame's going to have to be chopped. And then re-welded re or something. But that'll be later on. That'll be a later on jobby. Into my shed where I should have automatic lighting. Here it comes, automatic lighting. There we go. It's actually... I've got to come back in the dark. I'll come back in the dark so you can see how good this is actually is, but it's actually really good. Right. Need to crimp oh, some more little C90 parts. I haven't been in the shed for a while, so it's a little bit of a mess. But yeah. This one, the headlight doesn't work, but the wires come out when I was away, so I just need to recrimp it, hopefully. That'll do it, and then, and then I'll take it for an MOT. Well, yeah, it's um, it's cold now. I've got lighting in the shed. I just need a heater now. That'd be good. Nice little electric heater, something like that. I reckon I could sort that out. And then it's okay. Yeah, just about cold enough so I can see my breath. Fortunately, I haven't had any time to really ride bikes because I've been working yes I've actually got a job now so I can actually fund some well trips maybe next year and uh, little things I'd like to do next year and it'd be handy if I had money to do so and hopefully with this job I should have money to be able to go and do the things I'd like to do on a bike anyway job today tidy up some of these little bits. Maybe you can try to get this this bike in for an MOT. On my trip, my, I had a little siren. That siren came off. Um, I actually caught it, I've got it, but it, it's off now, so like, all the mounting brackets have destroyed on it, so I was like, okay, well, it survived for you know, a few hundred miles, so I've had to put the uh, stock one back on for now. See if I can get it passed. Be interesting if I can get it with this uh, exhaust. If I give uh, the MOT instructor some earplugs, it might be alright. Might be alright. So when I was on my trip, this, uh, well these custom made panniers that I have, these Pelican cases, this one came a bit loose. It was alright, I got home and everything, it didn't fall off. Um, but on this side, you can see there's a there's a there's like a washer there. It was all it was, was because on this side I had to put washers. Right, even though they're the same case and the same rack. Um, the powder coating is slightly thinner here, for some reason. I measured it with a, with a measuring thingy, pincher thingy, and it's ever so slightly different, but it's just enough. So I've taken out the washers, and that was it. And now it's, it's on there rock solid. So yeah, get this bike ready for next year's. Got to at least do one trip on the C90 next year. Definitely at least one. Seems to me that the bulb might be blown due to the burning on the tip and the blackness inside. This thing's gone bang, so I'm gonna get a new one of these. I hope it's a very cheap bulb because the headlight was quite cheap and I don't wanna well, could just buy another headlight, it'd be cheaper maybe. Right, have us to the rescue. 
Hallelujah! I'm gonna dive. I'm gonna dive. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna dive poisoning. It's all done. Now, at some point, hopefully in the near future, I'll take up an MOT. But that's how many kilometers I've done on this bike. One six two zero. What's that in miles? I'll put it on screen. That's how many kilometers I've done on this little bike. So yeah, it's had its first service already. And yeah, that's it really. It's actually running all right. I think everything that should have fallen off now has fallen off. Apart from the exhaust falling off that one time. I don't think it's going to happen again, but I'll just uh, carry some extra bolts with me if I'm ever going to do another long trip. And I need to work out some sort of maybe extended fender here. Stop all the mud coming up here and on the airbox. I don't, don't like all this. This tyre flicks all the mud back. That's the only downside. And it needs to be clean because it's very dirty. Very dirty. Let's see, let's see how effective the lights actually are. Open the door, motion detector lights on. Computer, lights on, there we go. See, that actually works quite well. Yeah, so hopefully I have a day off here and there, or a half day off at some point, I can take this for an MOT. Oh, new job, busy, busy, busy. That's it, just a quick update. Thanks for watching. I catch you whenever I, I get time to make another video. <laughs>